lipstick right yeah do we get to a standardization of that somehow where your your lipstick has to be of a specific standard product so that we can so there's critical it? mass so that there's critical mass to recycle 100 yeah. that's what i'm saying yeah. and, and your your marketing and other uh, other standout you know how you get people to look at it on a shelf or whatever it has to be something else other than the packaging or within yeah. certain limits so that it doesn't matter if it's Maybelline's or, or L'Oreal's or it's, or it's this one or or it's Mayfield milk or it's that milk jug yeah. or whatever it is, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I think we're headed down that path to a degree. I think RFID tags, if they're used right, there's a lot of information that can come off of an RFID well, tag. I mean, even just a printed, even just a printed car uh, um, barcode or somewhere in the barcode that's on every product where you can see, okay, there's the information. That's what it is. Yeah, it's, and the Holy like Grail melt or that yeah. or whatever. Yeah, the Holy Grail is is trying to do that, and in, in Europe, supporting that concept more than the U.S. so far. And for twenty of my thirty five years in the industry, when I get up, whenever I give a speech, I always call it the pulpit. You know, I'm like, this is my religion. Recycling is my religion. And um, if I don't were, seem passionate at all to me, if I were queen of the recycling and was able to dictate what you all have to do. One of the things I learned working with Philips was that they put markers in their resin for lot identification. You can't see it. The consumer can't see it, but machines can see it. Yeah, that's and great. So it's an opulescent parts per million marker put into it. So it's not seen by the human eye, but a machine. <laughs> Thank you.